Hi everyone, welcome to our vlog. We are going to Prague for the first time and we are super excited about it. We are taking an afternoon flight from Dublin to Prague, which will be about two and a half hours. Let's go! After reaching Prague late in the evening, we took the bus, metro and tram to get to our hotel. All public transports were super smooth and now it's time for a good night before an early day tomorrow. So welcome to our first day in Prague. It's 6.30 a.m. from the washroom. We are ready to go. day in Prague. We woke up very early to go and see the bridge in the morning. You can really see like the city is this direction. You know. So we finally reached Charles Bridge. Um, we wanted to reach very early, but we reached at 8 o'clock, so not bad. And it is true that it's still very cold, the sun is rising and there are not many people around. So if you want to really enjoy the bridge, I think you should come a bit early. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Charles Bridge at sunrise did not disappoint. It was beautiful. It was lined with Baroque statues and Gothic towers. It resides in the heart of Old Town Prague. So the view from here of the Old Town is picturesque. It spans across the Vltava River and the skyline from here shows why Prague is known as the city of a thousand spires. So we spent a good hour on Charles Bridge because it's really, really beautiful. But right now I think it's time to walk down and go to the astronomical clock. Any comment on the statue? I think I need to go to the gym. <laughs> yes. Our next stop was Old Town Square, which is home to the astronomical clock, which has a one minute show at the top of the hour. Our recommendation about the show is don't have high expectations, there is like a little door opening and things turning, but there is not much to see. A five minute walk away from the old town square is the Havels Market, the oldest market in the city, dating back all the way to 13th century. It's open all year round. It displays both local produce and handmade crafts. So you can buy some souvenirs or, as we did, sample some local delicious fruits. It's... It's bitter. 
Now it's time to sample some local beer. Yes, so we headed to the birthplace of the famous Czech Pilsner, U Pinkas. So? so we tried the first Pilsner and uh, we are high, <laughs> we are high. drunk. <laughs> It is lunchtime. We took this beautiful street towards Vegan's restaurant and for our first day in Prague, we really wanted to try the vegetarian versions of two famous Czech dishes, Svichkova and goulash. And we are super excited to try them. Hey, so we just had lunch. Um, we tried uh, goulash and switchkova, uh, vegetarian versions. It was really nice. And now, as you can see, we can see the city back there. And uh, we are going to the Petrin Tower and there is a big park around. So that's why it's quite green. My very natural walk. <laughs> yes, come here. Do a little wavy wavy, little dance. <laughs> So we just climbed a thousand stairs yes. from Vegan's restaurant and now we are at Petrin Tower. But we realized on reaching Petrin Tower that you have to climb <laughs> hundred more stairs to reach at the top. Which oh, I thought reaching the tower, we kind of thought there would be a nice lift in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll rest here a little bit and then we'll climb the tower again and hopefully we'll have a nice view of Prague. Fly. Fly? Oh, it flew. <laughs> it flew back to me. Middle point of Eiffel Tower. Middle point of Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Which country are we in? <laughs> And it's dinner time. And after a quick search, we come across this anime-themed Japanese restaurant called OMG. This is what uh, Luffy recommends. <laughs> Finally, back to the hotel after a long day in Prague. It's really a beautiful city and it's so easy to get to places. Uh, the public transport are awesome. Uh, you can just pay with the car so you don't need to always have currencies on you. And it's just, it's just a city that seems to be well organized, like well done, and it's pretty, everything is pretty, the streets are pretty, the buildings are pretty, the trams are pretty, so it's really, it's really was nice, a nice first day in Prague. For our second day, we booked a 2 hour 45 walking tour to learn more about the city. It is a free tour from Real Prague Guides that covers some of Prague and Czech history through World War II and communism. It was really, really interesting. We strongly recommend this tour. You also get to walk through the city, so it's perfect for getting to know the main landmarks of Prague. We are at Winceslar Square, 
um, and we have finished half the tour. We are glad actually we took this tour um, because it's inter interesting to know the origins of Czechoslovakia, Czechia. So it's a two hour 45 minutes tour. Uh, we are right now it's 12 so a little bit of it left. Uh, we link um, the tour in the description below so that anyone going to Prague if they're interested you know they can yeah. take the tour. The Czech language, so this is my uh, Czech language sheet. <laughs> cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Uh, top three basic phrases to know. So I would have, I guess, Dobrý den, means hello, good day. There is děkuji, uh, which is thank you. Uh, prosím is like please, there you go. It's like you can use it in lots of places. And like, oh, sorry if you bump into some, someone, it's yeah. promiente. Promiente, sorry, promiente. okay. So, and table for two? Uh, stool pro dva. <laughs> Success. So the dancing house, dancing lady, and Prague. Oh, that's alright. It was pleasant autumn sunshine, so we decided to wander along the shores of the Vladava River and have a relaxing drink. Soon after that, we made our way to a Nepalese restaurant for lunch. After some rest, we decided to explore the nightlife of Prague. 